How's it going, everybody? We are back once again for a Ruby Volume 9 episode reaction. Today, we are reacting to Episode 7, The Perils of Paper Houses. Now, uh, yes. two, uh, a few things before we get into this. One, uh, Gus is apparently in the middle of a tornado warning over where he's at. Yeah, it looks like death outside. Yeah. Also, you can ignore him. It Me he's, Mecca's in the back. Special hey, cameo, watch it! Special cameo from Mecca in the middle of this. So um, I got low, low, low. And two, I got, uh, I had a few drinks last night with some mates, so I, I'm a little bit iffy right now, but I'm alive. Um, I got a few notes from the last episode of things I think we missed or things that weren't really clarified, but I actually rewatched the episode yesterday, uh, episode six, just to make sure I, was it episode six? Yes, episode six, just to make sure I know what's going on. Um... When John picked that clock off of the tree, I didn't realize it, but it actually reversed time because you could see the clock going backwards, and then you could see that the beams of light oh. that Team Ruby were making when they fell go back. So that's how John kind of aged up. He accidentally reversed time, fucking heaps. So that makes oh back to when Alex was around. Exactly. I guess exactly. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Um. Ascension is, yeah, the, the, the name that is being reborn that the cat has talked about before. That's what Ascension is. And I think the cat was actually telling the truth when they said it won't do that to you guys because you're not from here. But right. uh, either Alex or Lewis being sacrificed so the other one could get up that's still not clear. We're probably going to find out how that works later. If someone has to be sacrificed in order for them to get back to Remnant, who knows? There's a lot of theories. Yeah, the specifics of that don't really make sense. Yeah, there's a lot of... Well, yet. I don't think it's not... I don't think it's meant to make sense yet. I think there's a, there's a lot of theories going around right now about, like, maybe Lewis was the one that got back and wrote the story about Alex, because what... Because, like, Blake and Yang mentioned, oh, Alex wasn't really that kind, even in the fairy tale. She was described as being mean. So that, that makes everyone think, well, did Lewis write it? Like, it's yeah, it's all kind of, like, who knows? It's all kind of up in the air at the minute. Um, I don't like but, uh, listening to theories, because, like, half of them are just, like, BS and don't make any sense anyway. And just turn out to be fucking wrong. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, a lot of that, so, a lot of that does, uh, is kind yeah. of just a weird section right now like, with the way everything's going. But, um, yeah, we just don't know. We might as well just wait a few more weeks and get the answers. Yeah, exactly. Two other things. Um, I'm starting to realize more and more with these reactions and comments and a lot of things that are happening in the Ruby community. Uh, like, because my first instinct always is to react and do something when drama and all that comes up. Yeah, but so, nowadays, so is mine. But nowadays, like, I've come to realize, hey, man, like, that's not going to benefit you or benefit anyone by you sticking your nose in uh, the business and fucking talking shit. So if if now on if I get comments or if I see shit happening, I'm just going to leave it be because it doesn't really affect me at the end of the day. And it's taken me a lot of willpower to not react to that shit. And I've just got I've to be literally like, who cares? Move on. Because it's not going to affect me tomorrow. So I've, I've received my fair share of criticism too. You just got to leave it. Yeah. Nothing you can do. And, la and lastly, uh, the new Rooster Teeth logo sucks. They, they released a new logo for the 20th anniversary. L. And, and, it, and it sucks, so big L there. All right. Do you have anything to All say right. before we get into this? No, but I don't know what they mean by paper houses. Hopefully it's not an actual paper house. Unless it is. I don't know. Well, um, who, who knows but at yeah, this point? We'll find out in the next 18 minutes and 23 seconds. All right. Uh, Anyway, let's begin in three, two, one, go. Themes Ooh. which might be distressing. Uh oh. Trigger warning. Uh oh. Someone's gonna get upset. Okay, so yeah, that's still the old logo, but the new Rooster Teeth logo literally looks like it's from a store brand here called Red Rooster. Like the R is designed <laughs> the exact same way. It's so fucking dumb. Like it, it's, it's the uh, sorry for the noise. Like the modern day, the modern day corporate logo. It's not good. I'll try to cancel out all this noise if I can, but holy shit! 
noise. The tornado. You can't hear it because Discord, Discord is doing its thing, but yeah, this it is raining like hell right now. <laughs> Guys, we're in the middle. <laughs> One of us is gonna be thrown, uh, thrown across. If the I if I dip door. out halfway through the video, just ignore it. I'll continue to react by myself. Yeah, this yeah. Man, imagine if you get thrown across the room in the middle of a Ruby reaction. Shit. Yeah, right? Also, yeah, this shouldn't, this shouldn't... It'll last the duration of the video, but it won't last too long after that, so yeah. that's good. Also, the, uh, the song that played during Blake and Yang's kiss scene was really nice, but... I didn't like the oh he oh he oh he whatever the fuck Casey was doing that. That was a bit weird. What? You don't like the choir? No. That's happening? No, that part was a bit odd. I, I did I did I like didn't the really, song though. I didn't really song. pay attention to that. I was too busy watching them kick. Nah, that's fair. <laughs> Alright. Let's see what's so distressing. I have an idea. They've been kind of building up to it. But we'll see. Ruby explodes. Maybe. Literally. <laughs> she literally blows up. <laughs> that won't happen, but that would be funny. <laughs> Big snore. Big snore. Not surprising from Yang. Love to see it. Low key, the, the people who snore really loudly are my favorite. Uh, I'm late. I'm late. You're late? He's late for work? Okay. I overslept. I never oversleep yesterday. Oh, all the excitement. Get your head together. You can fix it. You always fix it. Sean! Look, I can't wait. I'm late. Come on, Mr. Firefighter? Damn it. Right on time. Get to town. I'll meet you there. Are they under attack or What, like five feet away? Upset when I oversleep. Uh, what did he mean right on time? I'm sure we'll find out when we get down there. Ruby, where's your weapon? Oh, sorry. Uh, still waking up. Uh, hurry! People are counting on us. All right, she's got it. Let's go. Whoa. Great. Okay, these are the paper houses, right? Oh, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Who makes a town out of paper? Hello. <laughs> That's us. Welcome to our village. We hope that it pleases you. Would you be so kind as to tell us what you are so that we may serve you? Serve us? Everything's on fire. on fire. Yeah, literally. That's normal. No, we are quite safe. We have our hero. With his rusted bucket of water. Fuck yeah. Hey. Way to go, buddy. His white rabbit. Back up! There's water everywhere. You'll dissolve. Hello, water. How may I serve you? <laughs> this dude. Uh, I can't believe that almost happened. What? It's been ages since I missed the first fire. So them, ca the village catching I'm fire is a daily occurrence. Jackson? Oh, every day. What? Oh, uh, right. I guess. Uh, introductions. These are the paper pleasers. They're probably the most polite, most hospitable. Afterns around. Right. Wow. About time we met some nice folks. We well, made all that tea. Look out. Juniper found help. Brought me to the paper pleasers who got me back on my feet. They work all day. Not just serving travelers, but serving the Hello, Mr. Fish. Too. They beautify it. Make it a place of peace. Unfortunately, they're a bit clumsy, but that also makes them predictable. Oh, you are kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Classic ramen. You named them after your teammates? No, I named them after everybody. Hello, I am the one called Ruby. Aw. Hate that. That wasn't bad, what the heck? Come on. It's just a little star What's he meant to do when he's stuck for years by himself? Yeah. And flooding the entire village, so I'm thinking... Quick brunch? I could eat. I could go for some waffles. Uh, my some chicken and waffles. 
Over the years, Juniper and I have been systematically exploring as many of the nearby acres as possible. If you think you've seen it all here, let me tell you, you haven't. I love that it's yeah, actually not paper exactly paper have paper you been paper looking paper. for. Yeah, right? Anyone or anything that might be able to take us back home. Okay, and what have you found? Nothing. But so far, I mean, not much, but I've got a really, really good feeling about this one acre we saw with a bunch of pyramids. <laughs> Sorry, um, I'm just glad to know he's still sure John. Follow. Do you have any leads at all? Any other plans? This is the plan. Look, I I'm sorry I didn't solve all our problems by myself, but I, I can't just run off and let them die. But between protecting the village, searching for you guys, and searching for an exit, we've got a really tight schedule to keep. Or rather, you've got a tight schedule to keep. I beg your pardon? Good luck. This is the schedule of catastrophes that befall the village every day, or at least they would if it wasn't for me and June. With this, you guys can save the day no problem, which means stop the goose. Keep searching without any interruptions. With Juniper's speed, the geese are a menace. With this place, we'll find a solution in no time. Guys, this is it. Look, if there's one thing I've learned after all these years, it's that patience pays off. It's why we're finally back together. I know I can find us a way out. Okay, I, I know it. I know it. This isn't crazy. Poor little. I'm not crazy. <clears throat> this isn't crazy. It's easy. You know, we still got time before the Pebble Tower falls. How about I uh, saddle up Juniper and show you around myself? Point out some of the clumsier papers. <laughs> I don't think it's <laughs> just wait till you guys meet. Crazy me. or easy, bud? Damn it, Sean. No. This isn't a. He's doing his best. Duelist. He's obviously been through a lot. Yeah. We can be frustrated later. Right now, Jean needs us. And we still need him. We just... Is it finally time for you him. to do something? Then who does that leave us with? It's obvious we need someone to guide us, or we could end up thrown back in time, or killed by the tree, or worse. Well, if that's how everybody... The great tree does not kill. That is what we keep trying to tell him. But our hero still insists that we never ascend. What? I do not wish to be rude, but our work has been completed for quite some time. Because of us, the land is beautiful, but we have realized that, like ourselves, it is also very delicate. We would like to make something that is pleasing, but also resilient. Because of this, we are ready to leave ourselves and merge with the tree, so that it might return us as something new. But oh. our hero is displeased by this course of action. We tried reaching out to the okay. tree, but our hero forbade it. Then the wisest of our village suggested breaking from our physical forms so that the winds may carry us back to the tree. But our hero huh. is clever and brave. Always keep He's us very from smart. You must understand, right. the tree does not kill, it resurrects and rebuilds. We do not wish to displease our hero, and I hope I have not displeased you, but we so desperately wish to return to the tree, to return home, so that we may carry on with our work. Return home, huh? Oh, do not be sad. The wisest are going to topple the Pebble Tower today. I am sure it will work this time. The what now? What makes you so sure? Nothing. Hell yeah. Okay. You know what that'll okay. It all makes sense. So John That does make sense. Weird. But yeah. sad. Like he wants to save everyone, but he doesn't realize John might not be totally right about the tree. Yeah. It's not death, it's rebirth. From a certain perspective, maybe. But Yeah, it depends on how you look at it. What happened to Lewis then? Jean said John wasn't there. The cat wasn't even there. None of us know the full story, and we'll never learn anything babysitting these villagers. We have to convince Jean to let them go. But how? He's clearly not all there. <gasps> Is that what you think? But what if the cow was telling the truth? Maybe not about everything, but about the tree. The tree's the last thing you should listen to them about. 
They're just doing what they're designed to do. They don't care what happens when you get there. We're not listening to them. We're listening to the Actrins. And they're telling us that the tree is nothing to be afraid of. That they want to go. They don't know what they want. You've seen the way they act. Nothing here is that straightforward, okay? Afterins are all either too clever, too stupid, or too crazy to trust. Nice one. Yeah, nice one. Why do you care so much about this village? Because I can actually protect these people! An unscheduled disturbance! Oh, yeah, definitely unscheduled. Here we go. Rabbit deer, get over here! Come on. Not letting them down. Oh, nice one. So he oh, feels shit. like he can actually make a difference to these pure yeah, paper people. Yeah, that totally makes sense for John. It does, but it that is really driving him crazy. Really nice. Yeah. Oh, God. He because he doesn't know anything. He can't explain away a lot of the random shit that happens here. Yeah. None of it makes sense. That would be frustrating for any man. New song, let's go! Stay focused. New song. Nice. <laughs> that was clean! That was, that clean. was awesome! Oh, God. Ruby's still not getting involved. Come on, Ruby, where are you? Come on, Weiss, put some buffs on him or something. What's my attack boost? Epic. Whee! Oh. Yep. Oh, right in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> right in the balls. <laughs> nice balance. Right in the. What? Ruby, Dang. come on, do something! No, she's she just can't. Yeah. Yes. Hey, thank you. What is it? Watching. Ooh. Oh god. Yikes. Yeah, that's freaky. That is freaky. Oh, come on now. Oh. Blow, blow. Oh, that's Salem. Oh god. Yep. Oh no, not the snot. Damn. So uh... Yeah, she's really out of it. Wow. Ha! Oi! Hello! Hello, hello, hello! Oh, goodbye. Oh, uh, well, she's gone. The walkers from the market. But that's... Those were more than just her usual tricks. They eat and grow, and... How has she gotten so powerful? Well, she didn't do it by standing around. I know you may not care about protecting this village, but you could at least help your friends when they're in danger. <gasps> Ooh. Ruby? Uh -oh. Uh, are you okay? No, 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 what time is it? No! Every oh. time they go to give Ruby a chance to talk or do wow. something, Ruby just oh, is God. always interrupted. I couldn't save and now the village is gone. I was supposed to save them, and, and they're dead. No, Jean. They're gone, but they're not dead. They'll be back. Yeah, it's what they wanted. Right, Ruby? Why are you asking me? Um, we just... Because I'm the leader? Here we because are. I'm just supposed to have something to say? Because I don't. I mean, why do I have to be the leader anyway? Why do I have to always be the one to pick people up? What about me? No time! Right? Gotta get home. Gotta help Jean. Gotta find someone who isn't just going to screw everything up. Gotta stay positive, 
right? Smiles all around. Maybe even finally get our feelings sorted out. Good for you, by the way. We're all so happy for you. Wow. Hey, I'm sorry. Is this a bad time? Are we supposed to be mourning Jean's make-believe friends? They're gone Come on now. Because of you. The walkers came for you because Neo hates you. Oh, and let's not forget the reason we're in the Ever After in the first place is because of your plan that didn't work. What about you? It's all about you. John. Holy fuck. I'm sorry, I... Wow. I know I'm not okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not right, but... How am I supposed to be? Good point. I've been alone for so long. I'm impressed he's this way. On that bridge. I was the only one that could do it. I was the only one! And I... And now I have to live with that forever. Killing Penny. In here or back home. God. Mm -hmm. Guys, I know things are bad, but... Shut up. Don't do that. Just don't. Fucking hell. Wow. The worst we've seen either Ruby or Jean. Yeah. My god. Understandably frustrated, but wow. Good. This is absolutely the breaking point. I remember in one of the... I must have been like the first reaction we did. Like this... I remember mentioning they're going to lead up to a breaking point where Ruby just absolutely breaks down. And this is it. This is the beginning of that. Yeah. And this is good. That's where it should have led. Like, it, this it is a necessary part of the story. 100%. Uh, and I really like... Because both... Like, Ruby, I think, was a little more out of line than John, But they're both understandably frustrated. And, like, saying... Like, just absolutely down in the dumps. And I totally get it. Like, that was really, really well done. The lines were really well delivered. Just very, very nicely done. Like, an emotional high point for this for this volume. I really like that. I don't even think Ruby is that out of line because she's had to deal with all of this instantaneously. It hasn't had, like, much time to think about everything. Whereas John has had years right. to, come to, get, to come to grips with everything, even though he's been alone. But, like, he's been alone having to deal with all this, but he's had time. Whereas Ruby is constantly, constantly under pressure. And yeah, like her plan didn't but work. The point but I thought I always thought she volunteered to be the leader. Didn't she always want no, to be the leader? No. That's why that's what didn't make sense they to me. They made Team Ruby together and Ospin put her in charge. She never volunteered wow. to be the leader. Literally, literally they okay. like she was just put in charge because Ospin saw something in her. And she is just wow. taking all of this on and isn't able to, to handle it because She's then like, that makes more sense. Yeah, yeah. like uh, under her leadership, they failed a, a few times. Like, not every mission has been a success, but like, that's the that's the other thing. And one of the main criticisms I remember with Volume A is that there, it it was written in such a way where they couldn't, the the writers didn't want a compromise between Ironwood and his plan, and then through everyone else. And so they made Ruby come up with this elaborate plan to try and, like, at least pitch the plan to try and, like, save everyone and do both and, like, not hand over Penny. And that that one thing that they wouldn't budge on is what ended up making a plan that failed. So because they couldn't, right. like, because Ruby wanted to keep everyone alive and, like, and save as many people as possible. It wasn't just Ruby, obviously. Like, more than just her wanted to keep everyone alive. But I just remember... I think it was like the first episode of Volume Eight, the second episode. They, they, everyone reunites, even Oscar, and then Ironwood makes that phone call, reaching out to Penny, and says, well, "I need you to come back." And Ruby's the one to talk for Penny and says, "We won't be doing anything unless you, like, was a hand over the relic or like, we're not giving Penny over or something." And then Ironwood just lost his shit. It's. Mm. <sighs> But everyone has been, like, 
depending on Ruby in many ways to like take charge because she's excelled in that. She came up with the team names or the team attacks for everything and she's like been the one to be the leader like whether by choice or not and yeah I understand Ruby's anger like while we're trying to do all this to get home the Blake and Yang are too busy fucking making out the corner John's protecting paper people and like it, it, none of this is gonna help them get home like in her mind so yeah she has right like her, her snapping yeah yeah this was a, a long time coming and even the like Blake going to say hey things will be all right even she she was like no fuck that I'm not listening to that because sometimes that just doesn't help like telling like it, when people are yeah. down at the bottom of the barrel and you say hey things will be okay that's not what they want to hear in that moment like that's not going to no. help as much as you think it will it just doesn't so I, I agree Bo- both had justifiable snaps and I'm glad like Ruby seemed a bit more erratic but that's because she hasn't had time to grieve or time to get over things or time to think yeah. about things so uh, both were 100 percent like perfectly written and justifiable yep. so yep fuck um this makes it look like the next two episodes are going to be either like ruby finding herself and or maybe finding neo or like because like john saying neo is attacking us because she hates you so I either like, I feel like Ruby's just going to go by herself for a bit, tr- take time to grieve, yeah. or go find Neo. That's in my head. That's what I think is going to happen. I do hope she's separated for a while. That would that would be good for her. Well, I think she's separated for episodes eight and nine, and then they will come back together in ten. That would make the most well, sense. Well, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, if they just reunite straight away next episode, that would be a bit disappointing. Like. I feel like they right. won't, though. I feel like they're, they're doing well with the pacing for this. I feel like they won't. So, yeah. yeah. Holy crap. That's, uh... <laughs> wowee. Yeah, wowee indeed. Fuck. Um, anything well, else to mention before we... Hello and goodbye to those useless paper star people. <laughs> Later. <sighs> nice knowing you. That's, that's the fuck thing with John, like... I get 100% where he's coming from, but you can tell, you yeah, can just totally. see from an outside perspective, like, hey, dude, like, you say they don't know what they're talking about, but, you know, maybe they do. They've been here longer than you. Like, essentially, yeah. like, Arthurans would know what the deal is, even if you think the cat is manipulating them to think otherwise. Like, they would know, hey, we fulfilled our role. We can go get reborn. Like, yeah. why uh, meddling with the flow of things isn't going to help. And, yeah, that that was a bit... Yeah, I understand, though. He, wa- he wants to feel like he can actually make a difference and help in any yeah. regards because he has failed at so many turns as well, which, that that's the weird dichotomy of this. This is Ruby, but, yeah, like, Jorn is still a main character in many aspects, and both Jorn and Ruby have failed so at so many things that yeah yeah i'm glad both of them had the moments oh well i'm keen to put that episode together that was that was a lot um yeah anything else Ooh-wee. to add anything else to add before we move on no i think i'm all good all right well um i know that was I, mostly i you. definitely trust your ruby knowledge over my own so <laughs> Uh, I'll, I'll be turning to you and the, and the commenters who know more about this shit than me. Uh, yes. so feel free to correct me if I was incorrect about anything. Like, yeah. I, I know. And he, I'm yeah, positive I, I was incorrect about something. Yeah. They, they will. <laughs> yeah. I know you guys will. And also I want yep. to be, I want to be very clear. Please correct me about things that you know are canon and have happened in the show. Mm-hmm. I know a lot of people th- like theorize, of why she's acting this way, why she's doing this. We have seen Ruby be put in that leadership role and she take on to it because that yeah. was the position she was given. She didn't choose it. Yes. You remember how the teams were put together by Ozpin? That's why Juniper, yes. John, was chosen as the leader and he didn't want it. 
Yep. Remember, guys. All right, I remember shit as well. Don't give me fucking. I, I actually remember that from. I actually remember that from Ice Queendom. Ironically, yeah. <laughs> funnily enough. Yeah. So don't give me yeah. your, your theories of why she's fucked up. We know why she's fucked up. Yeah, we we got it. We, we so it's totally understandable and justified. But, but this it, was a long time coming. Yes. So, but yes, if I am incorrect about anything, feel free to correct me. Thank you. All right. Yes. We'll see you next week. And um, that is all. Yeah, that is all. Thanks, guys. My God. Later. Ah!